Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Matt. I'm Megan. I'm Daniel. I'm Joel. I'm Grandpa. I'm Aunt Becky. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. Welcome back, everyone. It's so nice to see you. Currently, I am putting on some boots. I have to go to the wholesaler this morning because Dad is actually trying to cut some corn at that farm because it was really cold last night. We're hoping that the ground was frozen enough that he could get in and at least cut the two upper fields. Uh, we're not 100% sure if it's gonna be frozen enough, but it was pretty cold, so we'll see what happens. Normally, Dad goes to the wholesaler in the morning, but we felt it was important to try and get some more corn cut. And since he's doing that, I offered to head to the wholesaler. Oh yeah. Whoo, it's a brisk one out this morning. We're gonna let the minivan warm up, but in the meantime, I need to grab a check. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dad has it all written out for me already. What a guy. Now, yesterday we went over everything that we needed from the wholesaler and we placed our order. All that's left to do is go and pick it up and I'm letting my van warm up because it is a little cold out. Usually when we go to the wholesaler, it's a no brainer to take the truck. However, there is the real concern this morning that the produce would freeze on the back of the truck and we're not getting too big of a load. So it's best to take the van this morning. Even though I do like driving the truck, I just want the produce to be safe. Now we just gotta find someone to make sure I grab the right order. Wait, is that my whole order? Yep. And they made me bring the van. Now I'm gonna have to load all that stuff by hand. Can you imagine that? I don't really think dad wanted to pick corn this morning. I think he just didn't want to load it all. Cause you need help. <laughs> I need more help than people think. Probably more than what I can do. <laughs> now you sound like my mom. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. I'm going to McDonald's. There you go. Your dad always does. Yeah, I know he does. And there we go. All ready to head home. Compared to what we'll pick up in summertime, it's not too, too much. However, for this time of the year, that's a pretty good load. I am now home, so all I've got to do is get my van unloaded. We'll be good to go. Just got everything pulled out of the minivan and into the farm market. We've already been working on filling some stuff up. We don't know how busy it's gonna be today. We are going into the weekend and that's kind of our busiest time this part of the year. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens today. Now all of this morning, dad has been working on cutting corn. It's gonna stay pretty cold today, but as it warms up, it's gonna make it much more difficult on dad to continue harvesting. That's why they got started so early. I don't know how much they've gotten done. I haven't had the opportunity to head out to the farm but I'm gonna be working on the animals now. Okay, so the chickens are the only thing that needs to be taken care of. Where are you? Uh, I'm over where they're cutting corn. Oh, okay, why'd you have to go over there? I got a call this morning while I was feeding animals that Brian got stuck again. Oh, okay, is the ground like kind of frozen over there? Is he still able to keep harvesting? He's still harvesting. I'd say the top two, three inches is frozen, but beneath that, it's definitely not. Ooh, okay. All right, be safe. All right, thanks. You as well. Yep, yep, bye. Well, that's good. All I need to worry about now is the chickens. But let's hope Dad doesn't get stuck again. There's a chicken out. Got her a little full. Don't want to spill it. I filled up the wheelbarrow with feed again, but I didn't know they already filled up the large feeders in there. Oh, well, it's not that big of a deal. I'll just let the feed sit in the wheelbarrow. I need to bed up the chickens, so I went up and grabbed a few bales of straw. Now, normally when it comes to bedding, we like to use sawdust, but with the chickens, I personally prefer straw. Now, we get a great deal on a truckload of sawdust. That's one of the reasons why we like it for bedding so much. Another reason is how well it wicks up moisture and keeps the animals comfortable. Now, with small straw square bales, not many people do this in the area we live. A lot of people like to leave this organic material in the field to break up, adding more nutrients into the soil. But as we spoke about in the past, this is a big money maker for us. These bales of straw right now are $6 a piece which is actually fairly cheap in our area. Now we use three to four bales every time we bed up and that is anywhere from 18 to $24. And if you do that every single week, that can get quite expensive. But even though it gets expensive, it's important to take care of your animals because if for some reason they get sick or if our eggs start to get really dirty, that can cause some issues.
This should add a little bit of excitement and comfort to the chickens. Once we finish collecting eggs, I'm also gonna add some straw to the nests. This is looking a lot better than it was before. This will help to keep the eggs clean and I think the chickens will enjoy it as well. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Since we switched over to using round bales for a lot of stuff, we don't have too much baler twine around. So every time we get baler twine, we put it in a safe spot. That's a luxury item around here anymore. Since I haven't been over there yet, how have things been going with harvesting the corn? All the problems. Grandpa's getting the thing stuck. So is he gonna stop or did you have to move fields? Like, what are you gonna do? I finally convinced him to go higher than the wet spot. So are we gonna be cutting much longer over there or is the day almost over? Don't know yet, it's getting a little sloppy. Even though it's sloppy, are the yields looking nice? Yeah, the corn's yielding nice. Grandpa would like to be going faster because then he keeps us moving all the time, but it's just a little too wet over there and he has to drive a little bit slower and has to dump all the time. He needs to get his back end over this. Cut your wheels. You need to get your back end over a little. discovered already this field is pretty wet but as we get near the top side of it uh, it's looking pretty good now it is a little rough to drive on in some spots originally they had trees planted in here and when they go through and take out the trees uh, they leave big holes in the ground and they do their best to fill them back in but back at planting time we went over this with the plow and then we also went through with something called a land doll and that was trying to smooth everything out and we did our best but there's still divots in certain places so the ride can be a little rough at some times but from what I've seen it's been pretty good you know compared to what was here before with all the holes in the ground when we first started here I didn't know how wet this was gonna be but then we found out when we first started it was pretty wet so we walked the whole field to try to find where we could start harvesting And things were going so smoothly. It should have dumped the bin. Dad's not too happy, understandably though, uh, with the combine getting stuck. Uh, before Joel was able to pull him out, and Joel's gonna be able to pull him out again. We just have to wait for him to get here. Now what happened here? And why don't you go ask Dad? I'm a smarter man than that. <laughs> we were so close, we have one more swipe left in this little section, and then we we're gonna move to the top of the field. But unfortunately, the combine got hung up, so we're just waiting for Joel so we can get unloaded, and then we'll do our best to get out. <laughs> These corn stalks are looking weirder and weirder. It's Daniel. We're trying to get the weight off the combine, then we're gonna see if it'll move. And if it won't move, we'll have to hook the chains up to it.
That, uh... We got some acres at the top of this field that need to be harvested. It's a lot drier up there. But as you can see, those wet spots just sneak up on you. So all we're gonna be able to harvest today is the top portion of this field, and that'll be it. Normally, we would just bring lunch back to dad and keep harvesting, but more than half of this field can't be cut today. So we're not in that big of a rush. We have made it home for lunch and we are having tacos today. And then this little messy girl is having some leftover spaghetti. How is it? <laughs> All done with lunch and now we're on our way back out to the fields. I got a haircut yesterday and my head is feeling a little on the cold side if I'm being honest. But I don't have to deal with it. Look, no, you can get in here. Yeah, you can come with Daniel. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now it won't be so crowded. I'm just sitting here looking over to my left and I'm seeing the water lay there. We're definitely not gonna be able to harvest this until we have a deep, hard freeze. And we don't wanna leave our harvester out in the weather. So after we're finished with the top section of this farm, uh, we're gonna take our harvester home, get it cleaned up and put away. Dad said to me, don't take my truck all the way up there. I don't wanna get muddy. So now I gotta walk to the top of the field. We're now finished with harvesting and that's gonna be it for quite a while. It would be nice to finish today, but that's virtually impossible. It's not worth the stress and headaches to even harvest any more of this corn. If we're just gonna continuously get it stuck. It's just, it's gonna get frustrating. But for the most part, I'm happy with what we got done and we're happy we didn't have any more issues or breakdowns. We'll just have to wait till everything's frozen. We felt it was a good idea before we went home. We're gonna close up the bin and we're gonna take our header off and leave it here. Now let's go home. He went a different way and thought he could beat us. <laughs> Check that out. We had a little bit of a convoy on the way home. Not too bad, but it looked pretty good. These things are pretty nice. People respect the blinking lights. I don't know what it is. Dad had the gate over here open and the cows almost got out so I had to run over there. But in the meantime, we've got all of the corn unloaded. We also got all our sawdust pushed up into the sawdust shed. The boys picked up a load yesterday. We're gonna hope to get some more loads this week. And I also was over here where we just loaded a bale into the feeder. And that's that, the combine will now be put away until we get a nice hard freeze. We just got everything put away in the farm market and we are all closed up. So now all that's left to do is head up to the house. Are you ready to head up to the house? We have made it up to the house. And as you can see, there is no dinner on the table. That's because it is date night. And that means this is where we're going to be ending the video today. I would like to thank everyone for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.